What's up everyone out there in YouTube land? Today we're going to check out the brand new Swag 2 kit coming from Vaporesso presentation box. This is the way it should be because on the back we got all the specs, what you get inside the box, a color of the actual device that's inside, and then you got your authenticity stickers here at the bottom. If we crack open the box, down inside of there we got the Swag 2 device that will include the NRG PE sub-ohm tank. If we remove that, we're gonna get a second coil head. One's already pre-installed. And if we remove the flap, down inside of there, we got a authenticity card, so you can make sure you're not buying a clone. We got some extra O-rings and a fill plug, micro USB charging cable, and some documentation. Dimensions on the Swag 2, 75 millimeters tall, 50 millimeters wide, about 25 millimeters thick, available in four different color options. And I'm about 95% sure it's made of plastic, but it could also be a really thin aluminum alloy because it is a super lightweight device. It does have this nice rubberized textured coating that covers the entire device from top to bottom that gives it a nice feel and it really grips to your hands. Here at the top, we got your stainless steel 510 connection with a gold plated spring loaded pin on the top. You could pretty much fit 25 millimeters and below on top without no overhang. Anything larger, you're going to get a little bit of overhang and you might actually end up hitting that battery cap. Here's the NRG PE tank and as you can see it lines up beautifully. Or if you preferred using an RDA, here's the Kennedy 25 millimeter RDA and as you can see it actually looks pretty damn good sitting on top of the swag too. Also at the top, we got your battery cap for your single 18650 battery. We do have some knurling on the cap, which makes it a hell of a lot easier to remove it. All you're going to do is simply unscrew that cap. This will use a single 18650 battery. It's going to be positive side down. Drop it in, screw the cap down, and the battery does sit in there nice and tight with absolutely no battery rattle. Along the side, we're going to have your firing switch, your mode, or your menu button and your 0.91 inch OLED display. We're gonna go through the menu system in a moment, but the buttons on here are nice and clicky, very responsive, and they have a nice matte finish to them. Feel very comfortable on the hands. What I like about the Vaporesso products, they always have the three button layout. So we got your mode and menu button there. And then on the side, we got your wattage up and down rocker style switch right there. And the button is actually pretty low profile. So if you're holding it like this, and your hand touches the button, you don't have to worry about accidentally pressing the button. I really like the way they did that. On the opposite side, it's gonna be your micro USB charging port. This one does offer two amp charging over USB. On the bottom, we do have some vent holes for battery ventilation. We got the Axon logo for the Axon chip. And I can't stress it enough, but this mod is super lightweight. I mean, it is extremely light. So if we check out the menu system on the Swag 2, keep in mind it's running the Axon chip, which goes up to 80 watts, and it will fire down to a 0 0.03 ohm coil. On the main screen, we got all your typical information to access the menu. You're gonna hold down the menu button or do three clicks, one, two, three. And inside of here, we have every option that you can possibly imagine. We got pulse mode, power eco mode, smart TC, DIY, system set, and then exit. So pulse mode is regular, like power mode. If you go in the power eco mode, that's gonna help you save battery life. Smart TC mode, this works like a, I don't know how to put it, like an automatic temperature mode. So you don't have to set anything, it kinda of does it all for you. And the reason I can't access it at the moment is because the coil I'm using cannot be used in temp mode. Now if you wanna gain access to all the features that allow you to customize everything, hold down that menu button again, go into DIY mode, Inside of here, everything works like a regular device. So you've got your typical wattage mode, variable wattage. You've got variable temperature, variable voltage, customized curve of wattage, bypass mode, and I'm not sure what SP is, but if we go over to variable temperature, we select that. We could select the material. We'll do stainless steel. Now you can adjust the TCR. You can crank the power up to 80 watts. You can adjust the material and then go onto the main screen and now you're in temperature mode holding down that mode button. If we go over to system set, we'll have a few more options inside of there. We got your puff counter, we got your brightness, currently turned all the way up. We got flip screen, smart variable wattage, the auto eco mode, default, 
the version of the firmware and then exit. And then on the main screen, if we do three clicks, one, two, three, it's gonna lock in the device. There's your little lock symbol, unlock it. Just repeat that process, one, two, three. And then to power it on and off will be five clicks, one, two, three, four, five. Also inside the kit, they will include the NRGPE sub-ohm tank, which is a 25 millimeter sub-ohm tank here at the top. We've got a standard 510 Delrin drip tip, which means you can use any 510 drip tip on this connection. The top fill is one of those slide open top fill features, if I can get the drip tip back in there. So the way the top fill works, you kind of just slide it, and then there's your fill port. And even though it doesn't necessarily have a lock, when you push it, when you get to about right here, it actually tightens up and kind of is held pretty firmly into place. I haven't had any issues with it sliding open. Now keep in mind the top cap is actually reverse threaded. So if you try to take the tank apart to clean it, just keep in mind righty tighty lefty loosey doesn't really work in this case because righty is going to be loosey and left is going to be tidy. On the bottom we got two airflow holes. Each air hole measures 13 millimeters each and the airflow control ring has knurling on it which I love because it makes it a lot easier to get a grip on this tank when you go to unscrew the base to remove the coil head which I thought was pretty cool. Now they're going to include two coil heads inside the kit and these coil heads are using the T fiber cotton, which some of you might be familiar with. So we got the 0.15 GT4 mesh coil, which is rated 60 to 70 watts. And then we got the 0.5 ohm GT C cell coil. That one's rated 25 to 35 watts. All right, guys, so we got the Swag 2 here. Just to let you guys know, I'm probably gonna gush over this one because I am in love with it. I was a big fan of the original. I'm a big fan of Vaporesso products, and the Swag 2 does not disappoint at all. It kind of looks the same. Nothing really much has changed there. I think the, the material they're using is a little bit different, but the biggest difference here is gonna be the chip. The original one had the Omni board. Version 2 has the Exxon chip. And you guys seen all the features inside the menu. They covered everything. They didn't leave out nothing. You got temp mode, variable wattage, bypass mode. You got all the smart mode features. So if someone's using this and they don't know how to use temp mode, they don't know what to set their wattage to, you could set it up for smart mode. It's going to automatically adjust everything for that person. You got eco mode, which is going to help you save battery life. You got the dry burn prevention, so you're less likely to get dry hits off your tank. They covered everything inside of here. With the three button layout, it makes it so much easier to navigate the menu. You're not sitting fiddling with wattage up and down in the firing switch. The screen on here is very easy to read. It's nice and bright. And I will say the vape off this tank paired with this mod is beautiful. 60 watts, three milligrams. Let's have a quick vape and we'll talk a little bit more about it. Here we go. Delicious, great flavor. Nice saturated vape off that mesh. The airflow is beautiful. Back to the mod, the battery cap. Love the knurling on it. It makes it a lot easier to remove it, to pop your battery in and out. We've got the two amp charge port on the side. So if you like charging over USB, it's gonna charge at 18650 really quick. And I will say this has to be the lightest single battery device I own. I think the tank actually weighs more than the device does. But at the same time, it still feels solid. That plastic material, whatever they're using, feels nice and solid in the hands. I've dropped this thing quite a few times when vaping in bed, and it is a winner for sure. The NRG tank, once again, great flavor. The 510 drip tip, I'm a huge fan of 510 tips. The top fill works. Um, there is no locking feature on it, but it is a pretty tight fill cap, so I haven't had any problems with it sliding open on me. Two 13 millimeter air slots, so plenty of airflow. And what's nice is you can load up that 25 watt coil head, you can close off the airflow, lower the wattage, and you could turn this into a mouth to, lung, mouth to lung device that's gonna last you probably almost all day. I've been running it at 60 watts with a direct lung setup, and I go through two batteries a day. This thing is really sweet. I've been enjoying it so much that this is gonna be the device I bring down to the DC rally this weekend. It's small, it's lightweight, it does the job at only 60 watts. I'm very happy. The only complaint I can give it, if I have to complain about something, is that I wish it was a single 21700. 
But I'm starting to think that the 21700s are more for the hobbyist vapor and not for the average vapor. So that's probably why we're not seeing so many 21700 devices. But for what it is, awesome. Great job, Vaporesso. And that's pretty much it, guys, for the Swag 2. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you hate it, give it a thumbs down. I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you guys build safe. Hopefully, I see you guys this weekend and vape on.